uh, for me, basically, empowerment is the ability to be able to decide for yourself. When you're talking about empowerment, is it educationally empowered? When you're empowered, you have a voice. You can speak for yourself. You can make decisions for yourself. And so it's past practically everything. That shows you're a human being. But when one is not empowered, one is like subhuman. Because you cannot make decisions for yourself. You cannot do things for yourself. You cannot do things on your own. You depend on something or someone to be able to do those things for you. The way the ordinary Nigerian understand empowerment Ten and accountability tend to be somewhat different from the way those in the academia, those in the policy circle, and those who are the international donors. They tend to see empowerment in relation to material, tangible things that they can extract from their political leader at their level. When you say empowerment, uh, what comes into mind, particularly in the local context, they're thinking about improving their businesses, improving uh, access, improving well-being generally because that is what is more worrying to them. So when you say empowerment, they believe they can be empowered when they have access, when their businesses have improved. But when you move to another context, empowerment could also mean having a voice and when your voice matters, then you feel what? Empowered. It depends on the context. We need to broaden our mind about empowerment. Empowerment, the way it was understood in the days of the military, was calling a few women together, giving them some money, and saying, go and start that trade. And so they go and buy sweets and candies and biscuits, and then they begin to sell. And then they say, this is an empowerment program in the rural area. Uh, but we know that that is not all there is about empowerment. So when we enlighten people, when we educate people, when we challenge people to take their faith in their hands and demand for their rights and seek to make their lives better, one way or the other, that too is empowerment. Accountability is answerable, accounted for then blame worthiness that is what the name implies accountability is from the word account or give account or accountable uh be responsive and um like telling people hey don't think that you have all the powers and that you are little sovereigns uh, so accountability to me is a process of uh, making government to be responsive to the demands of the people, one, and um, to live and conduct their affairs like people were aware that they are going to give account at some point. Yeah. So it's about something people do to those who hold positions of authority and power. Holding, do I say government, responsible for what they say they will do. So if government says we are providing this, the citizens want to see that provided. And they want to see that if there's a budget for something, that the budget is being followed through. That you can measure that this is the budget and this is the impact this budget is having based on what they said they are providing. You can call people, they will answer your questions, they will tell you what they've done. People can access information about government spendings, government activities easily. You will not be easily put off by this, their clause uh, says, uh, out of secrecy, which is being used blanketly. Even when government is supposed to tell you this is what they are doing, they will tell you its financial dealings are all a secret. And so yeah, it becomes very difficult for you to understand if actually government understands what accountability means. There is a way in which empowerment also leads to accountability. When people are empowered, when they are enlightened to understand their rights and privileges as citizens and they understand the role of government, uh, then government begins to fear them. And that really puts the government on its toes and makes the government to want to do something, uh, to want to be accountable to, to the people. And sometimes people feel, okay, if I'm empowered, my voice is being heard, I can press on government. That is where these social actions come in, that as a group we can demand. 
so, so in that sense, there is a connection. There is a way in which empowerment leads to accountability. There is also a way in which accountability leads to empowerment. If government is really accountable, that is, they are honest, they are hardworking, they fear the people, they will seek to help to serve people more and empower people to, to be better uh, citizens. So, uh, so it's, there, is, there, is, there is a relationship between both of them, even though they are different.